Okay, we're back on our series on learning how to program. Again, there are other programming languages. There are a lot of programming languages out there, and they serve different purposes. But if, you've, if you're new to programming, then this is a great language because it was designed as a teaching language. And as you can see, we're not starting with a command prompt. We're actually starting with a window, which makes it uh, helps, helps keep your interest, I guess. So um, what I've done is I... Let's get out of here one more time. Uh, in the last video, we installed Lazarus and Free Pascal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open the program. If yours does not open to this with a uh, window in here and some code behind it, let me show you how to do that real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all. I'm going to discard changes. And then we're going to go File, uh, New. And we're going to click on Application. And you can see here it says Graphical program so that's what we're going to do um, we don't need to save the last one so this is our window and this is where we're going to uh, lay out all of our components just like you would see with any basically a, a web browser you have buttons you have fields that you enter text you have you know text that you view and then what we're going to do up here on the top um, in this palette if you will are our graphical components so we have standard you can see we can have a button. If I click on this and then click on the form, I have a button. Um, if I click on an edit field, click over here, I have an edit field. And what we're going to do is we need a label. So that's the third one right here. And we're going to start with a very, very simple program. This is typically the one you start with in any programming language. And it basically says, hello, world. it's very, very traditional program. Now, the thing here is that once we have our our GUI elements, our graphical user interface elements, laid out where we want them, um, then we're going to create an action. And normally what happens is a user will click on a button. So in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to double click the button. And when we do that, it takes us to the actual program. This is where we're going to write the code to tell the computer what we want it to do. Um, so when we double click on that button, it takes us to the right place. If you've lost your window, you can do a couple things. You can click on toggle right here, or note that it's actually behind the program, so it hasn't gone anywhere. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to toggle back before, back and forth between uh, the, the, the window, which is where we're laying out these components, and the actual code. And again, if I want to get to um, where the program interacts, with this particular button, then we can double click on the button and it'll take us to, to that window. Now, what I want to do is, is point out that each one of these elements has a name. So button is named button, of course, but you see it says button number one. And that's because if I were to grab a new button and put it on here, it would be button number two. So it automatically gives you the name and the sequence. And this way we can, we can keep track of everything. So the button has a, a button one name. The edit field is edit one. And then the label, which is just text, is label one. So this is obviously pretty intuitive here. But the name has a special meaning. And we're going to use the name to talk to that component. So if this was somebody named Fred, uh, we'd call him Fred. If this was George, we'd call him George. And this could be Susie, you know. And so we're going to call it Susie. So when we double click on the button again, we go here to this code and it says button one click. So again, this is the name of the component and this is what we've done to it. We've clicked on it. So now what we want to do to keep this simple is um, we're going to have somebody put some text into the uh, edit field. Edit meaning that you can edit the text that's in there. right? And then when they click on the button, we'll take the text from this edit field and we want it to show up and in the label field. So we'll double click on the button. And again, just keep in mind what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this up in little components. We're gonna take the text from the edit field and we want it to show up in the label field. Now, um, this is called an assignment. It's basically, if you remember variables um, from math or whatever, x equals two or x equals three. So uh, in this case, we have on the left-hand side is our variable and then x equals 3. Let me just type this out. This is how you'd normally see it, right? 
but we're going to have the label field equal to the edit field. So we're going to do this a little bit different. And our equal sign is going to be a little bit funny because of Pascal, that's just the way they do it. So we're going to go, the name of that was label one, and we're going to press the period. Uh, when we do that, you can see here are all the elements that come up. So again, if this label was, uh, think, of, think of an analogy, if the label, which was that, that field, that this was a person that we were talking to and his name was George. So when we say George, when we look at all these properties, these are what we can tell George to do, or these are the ways that we can talk to George. And so what we're gonna do is grab caption. It's called a caption. That's the text that's in that label. And we're gonna say, all right, so the caption, the label one, or George's text, whichever way we wanna remember this, um, is equal to the edit box dot, and in this case, we're gonna go text because they're actually entering text. So edit, we're gonna take the text out of the edit field one, and we're gonna put that, make that the caption and label one. So again, if we go back here, here's our label. It has a caption. Uh, the edit field has text because somebody's entering text. And all of this is gonna happen when we click on button one. So let's go back here. Here we have it. So now when we uh, run this, It'll take it a second. You can see it built it, and here's our new program. Um, so when we type in some text, oops, it's supposed to be hello world, and we click on the button, there we go. So we've just made our first program where we type text from the edit field. Um, when we click on the button, it says hello world, which is just what we told it to do. Now what we can do is we can look at these components again. We're going to hit X to close it, or you could stop. That's the same thing. Um, now let's look at uh, these components, these visual components. Now what you'll see is when I click on a button, or when I click on any of these components, these properties change. And that's because when I click on the button, I see the, bu the properties for the button. When I click on the edit field, I see the properties for the edit field. When I click on the label, of course, I see the properties for the label field. So what we want to do is button one isn't very intuitive, right? That So button one is the name uh, of this. But if I go to caption, caption is just the text. So I can say, you know, hello. I can say update label. This can be whatever we want it to be. This is kind of what we're doing here. So when I click away, you can see that we've changed the text in or on the button. We've changed the, the caption of this. Now what you want to notice is that we haven't changed the name of the button, right? So the function, this is a function procedure, uh, same thing for, for what we're doing right now. We haven't changed the name of that. We've just changed the caption, kind of like what we did down here. So when we look at this, we can see this. Now um, for the edit field, um, when we go down to text, so this is the text, since it doesn't have a caption per se, of the edit field. So if we wanted it to be blank when we start our program, we can just delete all that text. Um, maybe we want this to be blank as well. So now we can say run the program. It compiles it, which we'll go over, and it will rerun it. So now this is blank. We don't see the label, but again, we can type in our Hello, Oop, always do that. World and update, and everything updates. So this is a quick introduction to putting GUI components on the form here. Writing some quick code uh, to update this. We really had one line, which was taking the text from the edit field and making that the caption and the label field. Now, what I'd recommend is if you bring this window out, you can start playing with the different uh, GUI components on here. It's real simple, you just click and bring them out here and then you can start uh, seeing what they, what they do. This is a memo field. And if you go through here, you're gonna actually see a lot of components. Um, so there are some, some drawing components, there are some uh, charting components, password fields, 
There are all kinds of things. So I'd recommend you just play with that. Um, get your, get uh, used to clicking on these different things and seeing the properties and probably look through some of these properties. And that way uh, you, you'll familiarize yourself with the program. But until next time, take care and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.